Okay, so this is the makeup tutorial. This is what I used. It's a bunch of wet and wild makeup, mega wear, the contouring, the pencil eyeliner, and the glitter palette, or it's like a little bitty glitter thing. But here I'm straightening my hair. Um, we're getting ready to go um, celebrate New Year's Eve a day early, even though New Year's Eve is done and over with by the time you're watching this video, but this is what I kind of wore for a New Year's Eve look. Um, I was wearing pretty much all black with like a leather, um, jacket, mixing up different black textures, but it was pretty much an all black outfit. But, um, this is what my hair looks like after I straightened it. I, sh um, I keep doing the middle part and then I flip it over and it makes it more voluminous. And yeah, that's what I've been doing, um, here lately. I've been liking my hair, so, yeah, so. Here's me putting on foundation. Um, it's still the Mary Kay foundation. I put it everywhere. I like how it's medium coverage. It goes on really smooth and when it dries, it almost dries like a powder. So, and this is the contouring. I'm using the lighter side and putting it underneath my eyes like a setting powder or, you know, to catch all the fallout. So now we are getting, what are we getting? Okay. Why is it taking me so long? Okay, so we're getting like a purpley, cool toned chocolate color. Um, as you can see on the brush, it's almost like this purple color, but it's like a chocolate color too. And we're gonna do it on the other eye apparently. And then this one is like a reddish, darkish, more chocolate, chocolate color, color brown. Um, yeah, that, you know, I kind of like, adding different dimensions because it just you know it blends better when you keep adding different um you know crease uh colors so when i just play around with everything in the crease it all ends up you know coming together towards the end and this is a little bit darker um this is like a darker brown this is the brown that i also use on my lashes but with the brush it puts it in there very lightly and then I'm taking a angled chunky brush, or if you have the Morphe, it's a flat chunky brush. Um, I just kind of stamp it on the side of my eyes to clean up that little area. And now I'm taking a small thin brush and really getting a precise line in the middle with a even darker brown. And then I'm taking a blending brush and blending it all together. And this is a crease brush. Um, I only focused on the outer corner and like rubbed it in. It's like a really dark charcoal, but it's not black. It's just a very dark charcoal, smoky color. And I work that into the crease a little bit and on the side um, of my eyelid or my outer corner of my eyelid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're just going to play with that and gradually go in every single time that we're dipping so we're dipping going in and we're just building it up because it's a very smoky black and it's not too dark so as you can see over here it's very muted not too dark and we're just working that in because I like it to be blended as much as possible at all times so if you add a different color on top or on the side it's all going to stay blended and this is working on our, or we're taking, I believe, booty call, and we're doing that in the highlighted areas. And then I'm taking half baked on the lid. And then everything that I applied in the crease, I'm pretty much applying down on my lash line. Yep, I'm taking more colors, and it's always good to build up. Don't want to start dark and go too dark. Um, you always want to start light and go darker. And then this is, I'm dipping it into the lighter contouring part on the Wet n Wild contouring palette. And if you dip it in there and swipe it, it also, you know, it, it covers and swipes it off at the same time, if that makes sense. I uh, just love doing it that way. It works very easily. And then this is a Wet n Wild glitter. Um, I was very surprised. I was thinking for like, it was like 98 cents for this. And I was thinking that this was not going to work. But as you can see, it is very gold, very shiny, and very alluring and attractive. I love this. It was very dramatic for going out. And I got a lot of compliments on it. And I'm so excited that I got to actually have glitter for New Year's to play around with.
Okay, now we're taking the darker part of the contouring palette and we, I had to add this very lightly at first because when I first practiced with it on my hand, it was super dark. So I just build up like I normally do. And I'm talking to, I think, Josh in this, but um, yeah. And there you have it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this.